This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forest, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became a legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. the great evil that all had thought had been sealed away by the hero. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In the last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. Hey guys, my name and The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker is the game. Big Brother! Big Brother! Big Brother! you'd be here. Hee hee hee, this is my favorite spot to gaze out of the sea. When I play with the goals, I call it Ariel's Lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? 
You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big Brother, it's your birthday! That's why Grandma's been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Hey guys! <laughs> uh, I'm so excited to be doing this. Okay, uh, thank you for joining me for my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Oh my god, I'm so excited to be here, you guys have no idea. Okay, so, um, last week I released a 50 Facts About Me video, which was also my 1000 subscribers special, and also in which I announced that my next Let's Play, which is this, will be my last. This will be my last Let's Play. Um, and also, as I mentioned in the video, my first completed Let's Play was this game. Back in 2012. I have not played through this game a full time since 2012. <laughs> It's been eight years, and this is my favorite Zelda game of all time, and I know that in my uh, Twilight Princess Let's Play, I said this is my favorite Zelda game, um, and my Majora's Mask, I think I, I think I just said that Majora's Mask was one of my favorites, and that is true, um, but really, I again, I know that I say this about other Zelda games, but this is my favorite Zelda game. It has been my number one game, or I guess my number one Zelda game, uh, well, my number one game for the longest time, my number one Zelda game since I was like five, I love this game so much, and I, I am so pumped to be playing it, and, you know, of course, in the HD version. Man, I cannot wait to just see the beauty of this game in HD. Um, and I know a lot of people have different opinions about, like, the, um, just, like, different visuals. Not, not just, like, you know, obviously the better graphics, but, like, um, I guess, like, the kind of, I don't know what you'd call, like, this, the cloud, the, the gloss that's over everything. I personally love it. I think they could not have done a better job of the visuals of this game. And I'm just so, so pumped to play for you guys, if you could not tell. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I played through this game. Um, so, this is gonna be a 100% Let's Play as always. Um, being that it's not blind. Um, but I'm definitely gonna be kind of rediscovering some aspects of the game myself. So, this will be a fun, fun journey for sure. I hope you guys join me for it. Hoi, Link! Hey, is it true that if you run as fast as, as a little curd, uh, wait, wait, if you if you just have a little courage and run as fast as you can, then you can jump at that rock over there? Huh? Is it? Is it? Tell me. Uh, correct. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was listening. I was trying to roll, not talk to you again. Uh, and yeah, if you roll over here, you can even get this um, yellow rupee right over here for ten. So I already have fifteen rupees. Not so bad. Um, and yeah, you can swim in this game, but of course, the only Zelda game where Link goes across the ocean to travel, he has a swimming limit. I know. Uh, so yeah, you can drown. Don't do that. Um, hello. Uh, what are you doing? I just saw a wild... A wild pig! Oh, see? Look! That black one over there! Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife has just been telling me how she really wanted a pet pig. Or wanted a pet. You ready to go grab it, Link? Now, you can't just run up on it. Pigs are too alert, and they're surrounding uh, to their surroundings for you to just jog up and capture one. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold ZR to crouch and tilt L to crawl slowly up behind it. Slowly. You can also distract it with bait, I guess. Yeah, that's um, probably the easier way to go, but also sneaking up behind it is just as easy. So, and you can actually sneak in front of it. It saw me two seconds ago. That's okay. Get up behind it. And, oh, okay, <laughs> make me out to be a fool. Um, it's worth mentioning that I'm playing this on a pro controller, and um, I bought this pro controller a couple of days ago. Actually with, you know, I don't like to talk about this thing on camera, but funds from my patrons. So, you know, those of you who are my patrons, thank you so much. I was able to buy a Wii U pro controller because of, you know, your generous donation. Thank you. Um, I'm going to let's play this with the pro controller, because if I do it with the pro controller, some things will be put on screen that would normally be put in the gamepad, and I don't have a way of capturing the gamepad. So yeah, we can pick up a little pig, and he's saying his wife wanted a pig. His wife is up here. So, climb up this path, ignore the other cute little pig, and, um, throw it on in here. Today's your birthday, isn't it? Link, well, how nice for you. I suppose I should congratulate you on your birthday, shouldn't I? Well, to tell you the truth, I could congratulate myself too. We just finished building our little hutch and paddock today. Isn't it, delight isn't it a delightful addition to our place? I was actually thinking of getting a pet and keeping it here. The boys would really like that, I'm sure. Boys love pets. I wonder what kind of animal we should get. <laughs> what, do kind, what do kids like these days? Listen, dearie, if you could see any pets around here, be a lamb and just bring one here. 
If you do, I'll give you a little reward. Oh, but we won't tell your grandma about it, will we? <laughs> I guess not. Well, let's talk to you again. Why, did you bring that little piglet all the way here just for me? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. The boys will be so happy when they get home. You sweetie. Okay, Link, hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. Well, there actually is only one place we can spend it all at on this little island, <laughs> but we'll get to that later. Yeah, Red Rupee 20, what a pleasant surprise. Why, this little darling is as cute as a button. You know, it's so cute that I wouldn't mind even having even more of them. Yeah, that's your hint to go grab the other pigs that are around the island. Um, but yeah, so this little island is full of life and I'll be sure to explore every aspect of it here in the next episode. But for now, let's get on to the story. And ignore this monster <laughs> is what I'm going to call it. Let's go on this way and let's go see grandma because apparently she has something important to tell us. Grandma. Okay. Uh, not down here. Did our elderly grandma climb up the stairs to the second floor? That, I mean, stairs. Climb up the ladder to the second floor? That seems totally safe. Indeed, she did. Hi, Grandma. I've been waiting for you, Link. Hi. Link. Try these on. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. <laughs> Our expression says it all. You got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Does all this make sense to you? Isn't that nice, Link? They suit you perfectly! A perfect fit! Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday, so I'd better get start- so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma's going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm! I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, go get your sister, Ariel. Now, I know some people call, pronounce it a real Ariel. There's a debate. There probably is a correct way to pronounce it. I've called her my entire life Ariel, I believe. Not, yeah, I've called her Ariel. Um, so, if that bothers you, I'm so sorry. Um, should have probably done research. Because I'm pretty sure, like, I think a real is actually how some people say it's supposed to be pronounced, but I don't know. I've always just gone my entire life calling her Ariel, so, um, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, so we got the hero's clothes. We don't seem too pumped about it, but hey, looks cool. It looks kind of familiar if you played any of the other games. <laughs> um, but yeah. Let's go get our sister, as her grandma requested. Um, and I guess bring her back to the house or whatever. Maybe we need to start preparing for tonight. Um, lots of friendly people around here on this island. Oh my, Link, congratulations. That outfit looks cute on you. Hey, your little sister, Ariel, was looking for you not too long ago. Oh, did I tell you? She was watching me not too long ago, and she wanted to learn to carry jars in her head, too. She could help your grandma do chores. That is so cute! <laughs> hey, if you see Ariel, tell her that all she needs to do is lift a jar to stand in front of it, and press A, and to set it down, she just needs to press ZR. Tell her, okay? Uh, sure thing, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so, creative little way of throwing a tutorial in there for the player. Um, so, yeah, there's this little boy over here who is trying to jump over there. Um, very safe, I'm sure. You know, the little kid just on his own, playing near the water. If you watch my 50 Facts video, you would know that I personally think that little kids playing near the water unsupervised is not a smart idea. <laughs> um, and we got this guy right up here. Seems like he's cutting some grass. Oh, Link. Hey, congrats. I'm really looking forward to your- looking forward to tonight, buddy. We're gonna party! But, are you really that old already? Wow, time just flies by, huh? 
It never ceases to amaze me. I mean, for example, I swear just I just cut the grass in this field the other day, but look at how tall it's gotten. Ah, uh, well, the mysteries of time and grass. <laughs> uh, say, do you want to try cutting it too? Link, you'd be surprised at the things people drop in the grass. It's like hunting for treasure. Except, without some kind of grass cutting tool, you can't cut the grass. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get a hold of some sort of tool like that in the future. But yeah, this island, absolutely beautiful. The prettier side of the island is over there, but man, gosh, this game is just gorgeous and just crawling with just energy and life and uh, I love it so much. <laughs> but yeah, let's go um, talk to our sister Ariel and um, bring her back to grandma, I suppose. But yeah, you can just kind of look around now and see there's plenty here to explore. Although I'm sure, you know, in our 12 years of this life, we've explored every nook and cranny of this tiny little island, but, um, yeah. We'll do it ourselves later. Oh! Hoi, big brother! Did Grandma make that outfit for you? But, wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? Just for a second. I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! <laughs> you got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. She's doing her little, uh, I call it like a goose pose in the background. <laughs> Yeah, set it to Y, X, or R, and use it by pressing whatever button you set it to. Do it now, and see what you can see. Use the gamepad. You, um, using the gamepad, you can also touch and slide items to set them. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift, just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Hehehe. <laughs> oh, why don't you try it out, right now? Try looking over at the house from here. Okay. Um, so yeah, like right now, if I were playing the gamepad, you wouldn't see this. Um, but I'm playing with the Pro Controller, so you can. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Wii U Pro Controller, though. Um, and again, I've, I'm only, I've only gotten the Pro Controller a couple days ago, and, you know, this is the first time that I'm using it, so... If I seem a little wonky on the controls here, um, that's why. So yeah, we can look around, the telescope, um, if we use the right analog stick, we can look, you know, change the direction we're looking in, and zoom in with the left. Um, so yeah, it looks like we have the little path there we can explore, let's block by some trees. Um, the mountain up there. Um, hey, what's that? Link, are you looking at the red post box? Um, I guess I probably should be. A little forest up there. A little house, uh, with the trees. Yeah, you, we can just see everything from here. Big Brother, are you using L to zoom in? Cause you should be. <laughs> Big Brother, are you using- okay. Zoom in? That postman looks kinda weird, doesn't he? Ah, Link, the sky! Look over the sky! <laughs> 